Hello, Herman here with a new video on Aruba Instant on the advanced settings. That's the topic for today. So what are the advanced settings? By default, most of the settings in Aruba Instant are pretty good. In some circumstances, it might be needed to tweak some of the settings. And it can be either because you have read the Aruba Instant Validated Reference Design or the VRD. And you have a situation, for example, with high interference or uh, when you're doing voice or if you're doing high density APs. Um, in those situations, it may make sense to change the settings. And yeah, those settings are listed in the VRD. It could also be that you have specific issues and you contact the Aruba Tech or the Technical Assistance Center and they uh, told you to change the settings. So let's show you where you can find the settings and uh, yeah, we'll go briefly over what they mean. So this is my virtual controller. Uh, you can see I have a client connected to this virtual controller and the specific settings are uh, separated in two uh, main parts. So the first part is in the SSID uh, profile. We'll cover that uh, later on. And the other is here under RF and uh, RS stands for radio frequency. So this has everything to do with the radios in your access points. You can see there are three settings here by default um, and uh, the default setting is uh, that the clients prefer to go to 5 gigahertz which is a bandwidth much higher bandwidth and lower interference in general so this is a good thing uh, it also has a client match which will uh, steer clients to the best ap which in most cases is the nearest ap so they have the strongest signal the highest data rate so they are using the lowest band time and then there's a setting for airtime fairness and this has to do with old bg clients uh, they tend to use all the airtime uh, and thereby starving the airtime for newer uh, 11n or 11ac clients so you can also see here are advanced options and if i click this it will expand and give me much more information so we can see again the basic settings here uh, but we can even tweak the client match so we can uh, make it uh, calculate more often uh, we can uh, make sure how it will steer clients to uh, specific channels to radios or to channel plus radio so this has to do how client match will steer clients to the best channel then here on the access point so this is a access point wide setting here we can uh, for example customize the valid channels and you can see here by default on 2.4 it will take channel 1 6 or 11 and uh, yeah wide channels 40 megahertz channels on channel 1 plus uh, the channel above or on channel 7 plus the channel above um, by the way it will not do that by default because here in the wide channel bands uh, we have selected that it will only do that for five gigahertz in general it's not a good idea to use wide channels in 2.4 at least not if you have more than one access point because the radio spectrum will overlap and you will have a big uh, collision domain uh, then here on the five gigahertz channel you can uh, select the channels and by default it will take uh, all available channels this is limited by the regulatory domain so uh, you don't uh, need to be uh, careful that it will take uh, channels that are not allowed. So for example here, if we edit it, uh, what we can do, uh, for example, is take out uh, channel 124. So if we have a lot of radar events uh, and uh, channel 124 uh, will be uh, taken out, uh, then we can uh, remove it here. And I think we should remove this one as well for uh, 80 megahertz channels so um, this allows you to specifically remove channels from the channel plan um, which is either for interference or if you need to have some coexistence and are uh, in a shared environment where you have uh, yeah, separated the channels per environment or you want to have yeah just one channel free for other purposes uh, this allows you to uh, do that um, in general don't touch this setting setting so here we can set the power levels uh, on an AP uh, wide level. 
uh, here we can uh, set uh, the scanning. So if the AP will do background scanning, uh, yeah, which is uh, by default enabled, so it allows you the ch AP to find other better uh, channels. Then here you have the client aware, and this will, um, if you want to have more detailed, we can here click on the help, and then oh, so for client aware. So um, this will uh, make sure that the AP will not change channels if there are clients active on the AP. So uh, yeah, it will not be uh, disrupted when the AP changes channel, um, which especially is for streaming application and for voice, this might be a good feature. Um, so again, check the VRD or Aruba Tech if you want to tweak these settings. Then we have per radio settings. So here we can set uh, for the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz the separate uh, the separate settings. Again, uh, 11D, 11H has to do with uh, channel steering uh, and with uh, regulatory domains uh, being sent to the client. Uh, we can here uh, check the interference immunity level. So um, this has to do with high interference environments. We can uh, enable or disable the background spectrum monitoring. So we can use the AP as a spectrum monitor. We can see what there is on the channel. Uh, so you can enable this one. Uh, we can also here specify the power range uh, per radio. So in the previous step, we had it uh, on the AP in general. Here we can. Make sure, for example, this, uh, that radios will be always at uh, 3 uh, dBm uh, or uh, yeah, take a level from 3 to 12. And uh, one of the recommendations from the VRD is that, that you shouldn't have a large difference between the minimum and the maximum. So the power should be yeah, a bit equal uh, on, on your network. So that will improve uh, roaming. So... These are the settings on uh, the RF tab. Uh, we also have some uh, some settings on the SSID. So these are settings that are specifically for this SSID. So these are different for uh, the preset key management SSID and for the .1x employee SSID. So this is the simple view. We can here go into the advanced options. And in the advanced options, we see a lot of more options coming up. Uh, again, the help will uh, put some help on uh, most of the properties here. Uh, also, the document uh, will have more in depth of these settings. Uh, again, in most circumstances, the default settings are the better settings and uh, only change them if you know what you're doing, either by reading the uh, Aruba Instant VRD document um, and find the applicable settings or by consulting the Aruba tech or another uh, certified engineer who can uh, make a decision on what are the best settings in this environment. So let's start here with broadcast and multicast. So one of the big features of Aruba Instant is that it can filter broadcast traffic. Broadcast traffic has an issue in most wireless uh, and that is that it if it's sent in a broadcast way, it will be uh, sent out uh, by the AP at a very low data rate. And uh, what we can do first is filter the traffic here. So the default setting here is uh, ARP, which will do, uh, yet which will drop all broadcast traffic, and it will uh, even convert ARP requests from uh, broadcast to unicast uh, so it uh, with unicast it will go out at the client connection rate which is much higher and will take less airtime so it improves the uh, operation of the network uh, the only situation probably uh, where you will have uh, issues here is if you have uh, clients that are communicating on the same ssid uh, and they are using broadcast to communicate with each other one of the examples is if you have an Apple TV, for example, or a Chromecast uh, to find each other, it will use broadcast traffic. Specifically for that situation, there is a feature called air match in the instant APs. And the recommendation is that you use air match and still use broadcast filtering to reduce the chattiness of tra broadcast traffic on the network. 
Then we have here uh, options for uh, multicast optimization. So by default, uh, if it's disabled, uh, multicast will go out as multicast. And that has the same issue as broadcast traffic because it will uh, take the lower data rate in order to reach all the clients or at least the yeah, lowest traffic with the multicast optimization. Uh, what it can do is it can convert multicast traffic on the AP to unicast. So it will make multiple unicast streams. And if you have uh, a low number of clients, it is better for the performance to have multiple unicast streams rather than uh, putting it out as multicast. Again, uh, leave this at a default. Then here we have the transmit rates. So one of the recommendations uh, that you see to reduce the overhead of beacon frames is to increase the transmit rates. Uh, so you can do that here. Uh, for example, uh, make sure that the minimum is uh, yeah, maybe 11 and uh, 12. So then the beacons will go out on a higher data rate. And if you go from one megabit per second to uh, 11 or 12, you uh, can see that uh, yeah, it will reduce the uh, airtime used by beacons uh, with a factor of 10. So that's uh, really relevant. There are all kinds of uh, calculators available on the internet to uh, yeah, calculate the effect of having beacon frames. Um, again, uh, please test this carefully and uh, take the VRD or Aruba tech as input for setting these uh, transmit rates. Then here uh, we can select uh, which bands we want to use. Um, some yeah, more obscure settings here. Uh, this zone is uh, in Aruba Instant to uh, allow SSIDs being broadcasted on specific access points only. So you can uh, bind the SSID to a zone. You can... Uh, set the zones for specific access points and only if that matches uh, the SID will be broadcasting on that specific access point. So this allows you to uh, set uh, specific APs to specific SSIDs only. Then here on the time range you can set uh, the time range so when the SSID is uh, broadcasting. So back here to the top here we can limit traffic and we can uh, limit it either on a bandwidth so we can set a number of kilobit per second on uh, the downstream which is by default uh, per uh, role or i think it's per ap but you can set it here per user as well so you can squeeze the downstream uh, bandwidth for a specific user uh, which we can also do is not on the kilobits per second but more on the airtime so we can uh, limit the airtime for this SID, for example, to 50% uh, of the available airtime. And then it will automatically uh, make sure that the other SSIDs have enough airtime uh, or per radio uh, limit as well. So oh, these are per roll, these are per uh, radio. Then these settings are for WMM, which are the multimedia extensions or uh, quality of service for wireless uh, we don't cover that at this moment uh, but again in the vrd there are some settings and also if you're doing a uh, link or skype for business or voice over ip uh, there are some specific vrds on how to set the wmm settings for uh, the aruba instant then here we can do uh, content filtering uh, which is the web cc we can uh, yeah hide the ssid uh, we can uh, de-auth in active uh, clients. Uh, these are settings for the SSID. Uh, for example, if we are using a VPN, uh, the instant APs can do a VPN to a central location. If the VPN is down, uh, what you can do is uh, disable or enable the SSID based on the VPN status or on the uplink status or on the internet status. Um, so this allows you to, uh, for example, create backup SSIDs or uh, to bring down an SSID. For example, if we have the corporate SSID, which relies on a radio server over the VPN, if the VPN is down, 
uh, it doesn't make sense to have that as ID broadcasting. So these are uh, settings to make that happen. Uh, then the last setting here is the inter-user bridging. Uh, by default, clients can communicate if they are on the same SID uh, between each other. Uh, for example, in guests, typically you want to limit this and then you will deny inter-user bridging and that will prevent clients from communicating to each other on the same uh, access point. So these are the specific settings uh, again. Make sure that you read the Aruba Instant VRD or consult the Aruba Technical Assistance Center. And um, that's it for now. So if you like this video, please let us know. Put it below this video, also your comments, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.